guys welcome back to my channel as you can tell from the title of this video today i thought i would show you guys what i do when i'm feeling down like my night well evening pamper routine i uh, this is like my go-to when i'm feeling like crap and i thought you guys would like to see that so of course i'm starting with a bath when i filmed this it was like four o'clock in the afternoon and i just really was like i need a bath First thing I always add is Epsom salt because it helps with sore muscles. This is actually also the lavender kind. There's a ton of different ones, but this one and the sea kelp one are my favorites because they smell really good and they're very pampering. And like I said, they help with sore muscles and I always have sore muscles. So. And then of course I have my Kindle and a candle. I love the smell of that candle. And a cup of tea, which didn't fit there, so I had to move it. And that is the stuff that I use for my reading time in the bath. And who would I be if I didn't include bath bombs? These are actually sent to me by one of my very best friends. They smell so delicious and I'm extra, so I always add two bath bombs. So I'm gonna add two bath bombs today. I have to say that a bath is probably the easiest way to de-stress if you guys are looking for time to de-stress. It's the perfect time where it's completely private, no one can bug you because you're taking a bath and it's just very relaxing and I tend to like to do them um, closer to the evening when it's still kind of light out because, I don't know, I used to fall asleep in the bathtub so I'm trying not to do that anymore. But definitely bath time first on my list of comforting things that I do when I am feeling down. Look at it. Look how comfortable that looks. <laughs> And I thought I would show you guys kind of my skincare routine when I'm pampering myself, kind of what I do after I get out of the bath. First things first, I always put a video on on my Kindle to relax too while I do this. First thing I do is I always tone after I wash my face. I double wash my face in the shower. I wash with coconut oil and then a cleanser and then sometimes I'll exfoliate. So I always use a toner. I don't know what it is about adding a bunch of stuff into my skincare, but I feel like it really, really helps me. I feel like it makes me feel a whole lot better. Second thing is obviously a face mask. I love these. These are by, oh gosh, I do care, I think is who they're by. Um, you can buy like a pack of them at Ulta and I use these pretty much constantly. I have a ton of face masks, I think that of all of my skincare stuff this is one of my most favorites as well as using SPF I don't use SPF all the time but or sorry I don't use face masks all the time but I do use SPF every single morning but since this is like a nighttime pamper thing I'm not including it today <laughs> I look crazy everybody looks crazy in face masks but these are really easy to use and this one is only five to ten minutes so it really worked out for this video and I look like an absolute crazy person <laughs> And then while my face masks sit, I always put on lotion. This is my favorite lotion. This was actually a gift because I don't use anything that isn't cruelty free, but somebody gave this to me, so I'm using it up. I'm really sad because I absolutely love it. It works really, really well and it smells like coconut and I love coconut. So I'm really sad this isn't cruelty free and I won't be repurchasing it. Obviously, put it everywhere. And then it's time to take my face masks off. I did let this sit for 10 minutes in case you were wondering. I always, always let it sit for 10 minutes. And then I always rub the stuff into my skin. I don't wipe it off. You always want to rub it into your skin. And I feel like adding this little step and giving yourself like a face massage. I always feel so much better after doing all of this, you guys. You should definitely check it out and do something like this. And the next thing that I'm doing is eye cream. I don't remember where I got this eye cream from. I think it was like Ross or something, but it's really, really good. I genuinely like it. But I always put eye cream on because I have, as you can tell, very, very dark circles from working. And I have to say, this is this skincare routine, it may seem really stupid and like frivolous, but I have to say that when I get home from work, I've been at work all day, just sitting down and taking the time to do something like this is really important to me and it definitely makes me feel better. And then this is the serum that I use. It is a vitamin C serum. It's like a brightening serum and I really like it. And I just put 
some of it on my hand and then tap it all over my face because you're supposed to tap serum in and not rub it, but I always tap it and then rub it because it takes like 10 years to absorb into my skin, as you can tell here. But yeah, like I was saying, I think it's important to take care of yourself, whether that be cooking your meals or instead of going out, or if it's taking more time on your skincare or your hair or your makeup, whatever that may be. And then this is the moisturizer that I use. It's like a water-based moisturizer. It's a, it's a gel and not a cream because I don't use cream moisturizers because they're bad for my skin. But yeah, that is the moisturizer that I use. I really like it. All of this like absorbs into my skin really, really quickly. And that is my skincare routine. I'm all bright and glowy <laughs> and very happy. And the next thing that I wanted to show you guys, I actually filmed a little vlog of this last week, but I wasn't able to get it up because I just, I didn't like any of the vlogging stuff that I did because I didn't read it all last week. So I wanted to kind of show you guys what was missing from that vlog. This is a little checklist I'm doing. This is in my bullet journal. I do not bullet journal, but I do little checklists of things that I want to make sure that I'm doing and I do it on a weekly basis. So this is the first week. So the first part of this is actually remembering to brush my teeth, floss, and use mouthwash every day. I haven't been able to go to a dentist in a very long time. Um, and so for me, remembering to do all these things, while it may seem trivial, is very important. I always brush my teeth in the morning and at night and sometimes after meals, but I am trying to remember to floss and also use mouthwash every single day. So that is what I'm making my list of here. I break it down so that I can check it off as I go. So I obviously have a section for teeth and then I have floss, brush, and mouthwash every single night. And this really keeps me on track to remember to do all of those things. And honestly, like cleaning yourself and like brushing your hair and remembering to do all of these things is super important. And I hope that we all remember to do these, but just in case I make a checklist because you never know what you're forgetting. So at the end of the week, I can look and know exactly what I have or haven't done. And then the second part of this is skincare stuff. I put my night routine first because I am up super late every single day. Because as you guys know, I do work very late hours. So I'll put in here, you can't really tell what it is, but it's like face and it says clean one, clean two, and then I'll do like making sure I'm toning and using my serum and exfoliating and, you know, using face masks. I don't exfoliate or use face masks every single day, but I do try to do them when I can because like I showed you guys before, I think that it is very, very important. So I'm going to stop rambling and just let you guys watch me do this. So now that I have done that for both morning and night, the next thing that I'm adding is a yoga checklist. My goal is to do yoga three times a week, every single week for the rest of the year. Um, last week, I think I did it twice. So we're, we're doing we're doing good, but I listed the date and the type that I did, whether that be stretching or actual yoga or something, some form of movement, but I'm listing that there. And then in the end, which you can't really see, is my sleep tracker. And that is the hours that I'm getting to bed and how many hours of sleep that I'm getting correlating to my mood. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is my pamper routine. I hope you guys like this and I hope you guys enjoyed Mental Health Monday and something a little bit different, but I hope you guys are having a good week and I hope you guys have a good week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.